Hello, and my name is Julie Shong, and I am here to give you the card reading for the week ahead, beginning Monday, the 25th of January, 2021. The cards that I am using are the Angel Tarot deck by Radley Valentine. So let us see what our guides, our gods, our goddesses, our ascended masters, ancestors, angels, archangels, or the source... What message have they got for us? What guidance have they got for our week ahead that's coming? Now, when we first do these cards, sometimes the cards may mean absolutely nothing to you. You may connect to one card or two cards, or you may connect with all of them. Or maybe as the week progresses, you suddenly go, oh, yes. And this is just a guidance of what may or may not happen. And if it's guidance that you think, I don't want it to happen, you know it's coming up. So you've got the opportunity to change. We all have the opportunity to change our outcome because we have free will and we've got the ability to um, to take control of our life. And if we've just got a little warning, this may possibly happen, then we may have a possible chance to amend it and go, no, I actually want to change this outcome because this is going to happen. I'm going to take control of my life so let's see what the reading is for the week ahead starting monday the 24th of january let's see they're telling me to split the cards okay so we're going to take that we're going to take that and we're going to take that okay oh this is interesting we have three cards i'm going to smooth this back we have the king of earth which is all to do with coins and abundance of time coming up this week. Oh, my God. Awesome. Awesome. We have the awakening telling us it's time to look at things a different way. So you're going to be having an uh, opportunities. And at first sight, you think it may not be an opportunity. Maybe look at that opportunity a different way from a different viewpoint to create this abundance. And of course, we have the wheel. And this is very interesting because the card of the day for the Sunday, the 24th, was the wheel we have control of our uh, taking back control that we are able to create the outcome that we actually want so oh my god this is a wonderful week that's leading up to us if you wish to take the opportunities that are there and if you wish to take responsibility for yourself and then you go yay i did it myself this is it so the king of earth he is generous professional responsible responsible and practical responsible you need to be responsible for your outcome for the rest of your life take responsibility stop giving away your your worth stop giving away your control to your life to other people stop blaming other people and once you take control and go you know what i can do this you've got the knowledge and the wisdom you are the king and the king is an actioner Stop thinking, start doing, because the king, he's got the strength to actually action what he wants to do. So stop saying, you know, I'm stop going, I'm giving my, you know, it's because of them this happened, because of that, because you gave your control and your worth away. Take it back and go, you know what? The way you're leading my life ain't going the way I want it. So I want to do my life like this. I'm going to do it because I've got the skills and the knowledge and the wisdom and the perseverance, and I'm going to do it. But you're going to do it with a generous heart because I'm going to make the money and I'm going to share it. But I've got to do it this way. Because quite clearly, the way you've all been doing it, you've all been doing it on a selfish way because you just want to enhance yourself. And I'm not getting anything of it back. So I'm now wanting to do this. And of course, I'm going to do it and I'm going to give it to you. And it's saying confidently accept opportunities that are being offered to you. You're going to be offered so many opportunities to grow your life starting this this week it's the start of a new growth embrace it because what you're going to do you are now going to start looking at things from a different angle i.e instead of sort of start blaming other people for your outcome you're going to go you know what <laughs> i allowed you to put me into this situation yeah accept it so you know what i'm going to change things I'm going to look at things from a different point of view. And when you suddenly start poking at point of thing, going, oh, this didn't work out the way I wanted it. Well, perhaps it didn't work out the way you wanted it. It's because it was the wrong way to do it. And maybe you need to start changing your way. OK, because you're thinking, oh, I'm doing the same thing day in, day out, day in, day out, day out. Maybe you need to look at things a different way and go, oh, if I look at it that way, I'm looking at it this way, you get a different outcome. Oh, my 
God, isn't that amazing? Because the way you're doing it at the moment is a blockage. You know, I was sort of saying that, you know, thinking, oh, you know, I, I, I've got all these expenses, you know, I've got all the, these bills to pay, but I'm in a job that pays the same thing month in, month out. Well, maybe it's time that you went to your boss and said, you know, you don't value me. I think it's time you valued me and gave me a pay rise. Or maybe it's time if you want the responsibility, go with the responsibility, comes more money. I'm going to go to the boss and go, you know, it's time for a pay rise, part time for a promotion. Maybe it's time for you to go and change your job where you get paid more money. Look at things in a different way. You know, quite clearly you're going, you know, no matter what I do, I'm only going to earn a thousand pounds a month. Maybe start looking at something else, a different way of bringing in more money. Maybe it's a different way of looking, you know, you can play all my, you know, I'm not fit enough to do this in this job. You know, I'd like this job, but I'm not fit enough. Well, maybe it's time to start getting yourself fit to enable you to do the job rather than just sitting there all day and I'm not fit enough eating the biscuits and, and the drinking the alcohol and whatever. Maybe it's time to go, you know what? <laughs> Let's stop eating all the rubbish. Start eating good stuff. Start exercising. I will be fit and then I'll be able to take on this better job. It may be more physical, but at least I'm fitter and I can earn more money. Start looking at things a different way. This is what you want to do because there's opportunities around. But rather than you originally go, oh, no, maybe you need to go, yes. And then go, how can I do it? Because the wheel of fortune is giving you a positive change in your life. The wheel of fortune. You have the Midas touch. Whatever you're going to touch. But you need to start looking at things from a different angle. Stop looking at the, oh, if I do this. You know, no, no. Take away your blockages. Take away your think of I'm not worthy. Take away the thought of I'm not valuable. Take away I haven't got the experience. I haven't got the knowledge. I haven't got the wisdom. Maybe it's time to go, right, I haven't got the current knowledge. Well, maybe I need to start learning somewhere and start reading some books to get the knowledge. Maybe I start need to do some stuff to get the knowledge, get the wisdom, get the experience. Rather than sitting there and got it, do something about it. OK, look at things from a different point of view. This is what the awakening is. Look at things from a different perspective. A Maybe it's a temporary standstill. You know, I want to change my job, but to get a job promotion, I need some more knowledge. OK, stand still where you are at the moment. Why are you sitting there? Read that book, get the experience, then go to the boss and go, look, I've got the knowledge. I've passed this exam. I've got the experience now. Now I can go for that promotion. And it's important to be yourself. It's important to be yourself, to take responsibility back and realize that there is only one person in this world who can do anything. Yourself. You. You have to take responsibility. Stop being that child. Stop being that immature teenager. Stop being that prat and blame everyone else. Bl Stop blaming everyone else. It is you. You've got to take response. And it's time for you to take control and to take your control back from other people. If you're in a relationship you don't like and the person you're with and they're not treating yourself with the right way and no control, take back your worth and go, excuse me. This is not the way I want to be treated. Stop treating me like this. And if you don't, I'm going to go or you're going to go. You're going to go. And if they don't like it, it's their problem. You've got to take back control. Take responsibility for yourself. You've got the opportunities to change your life. You've got the opportunities, but you've got to take it. And, there's only one. and stop blaming and go, oh, you know, they're always criticizing me. Well, turn around and tell them to stop. Say, that's it. Don't talk to me like that. It's being disrespectful. Find that inner strength. Find that inner confidence. You are worthy of an abundance of a beautiful life. You are worthy of love, but it's got to come from within. And you've got to start showing people and standing up for yourself because you've got to confidently accept what is available in the world. And if where you are at the moment isn't the place you want to be, Maybe you need to start making the change, awaken up to the, oh, my God, all these past lives when I've blamed everyone else because I haven't taken my responsibility. You know, you blame someone for, 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 you know, where is it? You know, my phone is no good. I've got this rubbish phone. Well, excuse me, when you went to buy that phone, 
you were the one who went into that shop you were the one who made the decision they didn't hold a gun to your head and say this is the the phone you've got to buy this is the contract you've got to have no you could have said no i don't want it but no you chose and now you're blaming them actually you take the job it's time for you to take responsibility for your past lives you know you you whatever happened you know all your past relationships that broke down and you think well i've gone through 10 10 um relationships and they've all broken down maybe it's you that is the cause of the breakdown not these other people maybe it's you who is the problem Maybe it's the way you are acting, the way you are thinking, the way you are speaking, the way you are acting. And unless you change that way, it will carry on the same thing, the same thing. So maybe you need to take a very hard look at yourself and look at yourself and go, oh, I've been through 10 relationships. It wasn't that, that, that there was 10 people who were wrong. Maybe it was you. Take responsibility. Maybe it's you who is the selfish person. Maybe it's you who is so bitter and hurt and holding on to the past. Maybe it's you to you need to start going, okay, I need to be kind to others and be kind to myself. Maybe instead of slagging people off, maybe I need to lift them up and give them a lot of love. And maybe I need to treat people as a prince or a princess, whichever way it is. Maybe it's you you're, who's creating the problems. Look at it from a different angle. Stop blaming other people. Start realizing it's you who's got the responsibility. So this week, you are going to be given golden opportunities. It's time for you to go, yeah, I will do it. Rather than, you know, we want you to do this job and you go, oh, I haven't got the experience. I haven't got the knowledge. Go for it. Do it. And go, yes. Grab that golden opportunity that's happening. You are being offered wonderful golden opportunities. Rather than thinking, oh, I'm not able to do this. I'm not possible to. Maybe the person is coming, a new person coming into your life and you're thinking, or a different person who you normally go out with. Maybe it's someone like you normally go with the um, rock and roll guys, rock and roll girls, and the relationship doesn't work. Well, maybe someone who's a country and Western person comes along. Maybe that is the golden opportunity because suddenly you realise you're going out with the wrong type of people. You need to go with a country and Western person rather than rock and roll person. I don't know. But you need to start looking at things from a different point of view. And the main one is to look at it and go, yes, it's me. I am taking control. Maybe I am at fault. And when you suddenly realize that actually I'm taking back control, I'm taking back, I have got the confidence. I have got the ability. I have the life experience. I do have the knowledge. And if I haven't got the knowledge, I'm going to go out and learn how to get that knowledge to enable to me to grow. Because otherwise, if I don't change and start looking at things from a different way, that wheel is going to stay the same and you're going to get the same outcome. Do you want an abundance of good love, an abundance of money, abundance of good health, abundance of good relationships? Whatever it is, you want an abundance of goodness, of love. Basically, you've got to love yourself, take control back, accept it's you. And this week is the start of taking back control because you are going to have the Midas to touch. But in order to get that Midas a touch, you need to look at things from a different point of view, a different angle, and maybe realise that you are the one who's responsible for your own life, your own outcome, and find that strength to change that wheel and change that boring old wheel of negativity into a wheel of fortune. You have the Midas touch. You need to look at things from a different point of view. And you will have that Midas touch. Things are changing. And when you suddenly realise that, oh, my God, I can be responsible for my own outcome, my own destiny. I can actually reach my goals. Things will start moving forward because you're embracing it and realising and you're stepping into your own worth. I am worthy of an abundance of love. I am worthy of the promotion. I am worthy of a relationship where I am treated, treated as an equal. I am worthy of the job promotion. I am worthy of the more money. I am worthy of this. If you would like a reading to see how we can help you, I am more than happy to um, connect with you to arrange a full reading. 
if you would like to join my mentorship because you have your goals and your dreams and you want to go for it contact me because I do have a few a limited space to take on some more mental ease so if you'd like some mentorship in how to embrace this wonderful opportunity that's coming to you this week because this week you've got to grab it because it's the week to start putting a strong foundation this is the week to build a strong foundation in which to grow the rest of your plants, your houses, your home, whatever it is. This is the week, but you need to change. And if you don't know how to, or you want some guidance and mentoring in how to help you for the next three months to build on this wonderful, strong foundation, message me. I'm happy to take you on as one of my mentors. Have an amazing week. It's going to be a week of abundance a week of creating the rest of your life and you have the choice to have a rest of the life which is a brilliant life of abundance or not let's go for the abundance have an amazing week have an amazing week and grab all those wonderful golden opportunities and if at first you don't think oh it's not the right opportunity for me flip it and turn it into the right opportunity for you because you are going to grow great week have an awesome week namaste angel blessings to you all take care bye